Hi, my name is Craig and welcome to my lair. This is Role Playing Riddles and Random Encounters. My YouTube channel is going to focus on all aspects of Dungeons and Dragons, whether it be encounters, riddles, monsters, problems you have with the game, situations that happens while you're gaming, um, creativity, spells, magical items, just the whole gamut of everything possible that can come from Dungeons and Dragons, the good and the bad. I want this to be an interactive channel where you can put in the comments questions, things I've dealt with since I've been DMing for 30 plus years and with my group of people. And I've had numerous groups of uh, different people that I've DMed to over the years in one core group. So I also want to make sure that this is a channel that answers everything. It isn't just me spouting out what I know and all my experience. It's just trying to help you guys become better characters, um, better players, better DMs, and give you ideas. Because this is all about fun. d d is about fun. On this first episode, what I want to discuss is about one major issue which comes up with every player uh, at some point or other. With me, it was when I was young and I started DMing to an older group of guys at first, which was pretty cool. And I always wanted to be a dungeon master, but sometimes people, they just want to be players or they want to try it out. So this first episode is, do I want to be a dungeon master? So some of the things you have to ask yourself is if you're playing, because generally you are a player first, unless you all, you and your friends all get together um, and start the game at the same time and someone has to de facto be a dungeon master. But you have to ask why you want to be a dungeon master. And... For me, it was because I like to create. I'm very creative, one of the most creative people of my group of friends. And I really like to entertain, and I personally like to be a ringmaster and run anything, everything, organize everything. That's why I'm in life, too, with, uh, with how I do things. So uh, the question for you is, why do you want to be a, a dungeon master? You know, what, what drives you? What makes it happen? So if... While you're playing, you feel like you might be able to add something to the game that the current Dungeon Master can't, or maybe you're just more creative than them, or you feel like you can bring more excitement to it than they can, which is all great, because chances are most people don't want to put in the time and effort to be the Dungeon Master. It is the hardest job of the game, and yes, it is a job. It's a fun job, it's a rewarding job, but it's still a job. You have to spend anywhere from a few hours to many hours making a game that lasts anywhere from three to six hours of playtime, where the players, as you know, or if you don't know, I'm uh, sharing with you, um, you just come to a table with a character sheet and you just start playing while you're eating your chips and drinking your pop or uh, eating your peanuts or whatever you're doing while you're uh, entertaining each other or the DM's entertaining you. The second question is after you ask yourself why you want to be one is what kind you want to be. And there are three types, archetypes, just for me to make it very basic. Uh, there's the mechanic dungeon master, there is the descriptive dungeon master, and there's the role-playing dungeon master. Now, the easiest for any group of people if they just want to get together, hang out, and you know don't have huge expectations, and the easiest, most... Uh, well, the easiest to do that takes the, the, the shortest amount of time for Dungeon Master to create is a mechanic adventure. And that is basically where uh, there's no frills. For example, uh, here's a scene. The characters in the party are traveling down the road and all of a sudden an orc appears. So the mechanic, Dungeon Master, will say, well, you see an orc step into the road from the woods. He approaches you he, he looks kind of scary, and he has a long sword, and he says, stop. Okay, that would be a mechanic example of one piece of an adventure. Now, if you go to Descriptive Dungeon Master, which is a little bit more adept, and remember, this is it's all about fun, and you don't have to do it this way, but it's up to you if you want to go to the Descriptive step, which is a more advanced. And then in this one, you... Again, a bunch of characters are walking up the, the road, the group in the party, and you say, a creature steps out. One of you recognizes that it's an orc, 
and you quickly tell the other members of the party, it's an orc, because some don't have never seen an orc before, it brandishes a, a well-used, chipped, um, probably taken from a dead body uh, long sword because it looks so battered and old, and it's wearing leather that's uh, cracked and ripped and torn. It looks like it's recently been in a battle. It approaches you and it says in a gruff voice, stop, I wish to discuss what you're doing on this road. Now, versus the mechanic, of course, the descriptive is a lot more interesting. There's a lot more to it. And, and if the characters are good with this, great. There, it's, there's interaction and everything. But, but then there's the third one, which I am. The, I'm descriptive and also add, I like to add a little sizzle with the steak, as the saying goes. And I like to role play. So in mine, I would say the characters go up the road. A group, uh, an orc steps out towards the group of characters onto the road, and it, it's again, it's wearing ripped leather leather armor. Um, you see, it has a, a long sword that's that's chipped and it's bloody. It's got a really gruff uh, looking face. There's there's um, uh, fangs are poking out of its mouth. It's it's all wet with sweat. It looks like it might have just been running from something, and then it approaches you and all in common tongue which is the language of the humans, it says, Stop! Where are you going? How are you traveling this road and not been accosted by my brethren? So I add descriptive and I add a little voice acting to it because I'm a voice actor. And uh, that makes it a little more exciting. Now, you can be each type of DM and most player characters are happy with that unless you're a paid dungeon master and you want to get into that. And of course, with that sort of thing, um, they expect you to be a role-playing DM uh, if you're a DM for cash. But if it's just for friends and or, or just uh, people at a gaming store who have all got together and uh, want to start a gaming group, they're usually happy with any of the types. So I just wanted to give you some examples of the different types of DMs, the base types, and you know, so you can decide, hmm, do I want to do that? Anyone can be a dungeon master. It's, a, it's also a great way of getting in front of people and um, not, and getting over anxiety too. Um, because I don't know, growing up I had some anxiety and I didn't like doing speeches in school or anything and this helped me dramatically, um, role playing did. So just gotta decide which kind of DM you want to be. Um, so anyway, that's what I want to go over in the first episode, just kind of a base first episode, and I'm going to do this every Monday. And something else I'm going to be doing when I do these episodes is I'm going to do a riddle. So I like to make my own riddles, and I'm going to read one to the audience here, and I'd like you guys to make guesses. And the first person to get the guess right um, will get a point, and I will mark that down. And at the end of the year... Whoever has the most points will win a prize. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but something cool, um, since I do have friends uh, in the uh, game store business, and and that's pretty pretty cool. I will do that later on. Um, and the riddle I'm going to give is: Tall are the castles it attacks. The subjects that dwell in its walls fear its destructive power. The pounding of its battering ram is unrelenting, unstoppable and seems never sated. What is it? One more time. Tall are the castles it attacks. The subjects that dwell in its walls fear its destructive power. The pounding of its battering ram is unrelenting, unstoppable, and seems never sated. What is it? So in the comments section, if you want to give your guests, fantastic. Also, please write in the comments things that you'd like to know about. I've gone to Gen Con numerous times. Um, I've been uh, a DM for many years and a player also, and I've competed in events, and um, I consider myself pretty high-level DM. <laughs> um, and, uh, and again, do your riddle guests in the comments. If you have any other questions, great. And also, if you could like me, and it would be great if you want to follow me, that would be fantastic. So, um, Craig is signing off from the lair. So, everyone out there, thanks, and, uh, and I appreciate you watching my episode.